do this. This feels like coming home, because we moved up here 17 years ago when my wife, Janine, got into UC Davis's med school. She's an Aggie. My, my office was about 1,000 yards that direction at Tupper Hall. This is home. It feels good back on campus. Now, you heard Jose's story. That is the story of the American dream. I believe in this country because I believe in that dream. I'm a product of that dream. My parents came here in the 1950s from India with little more than that dream. You know, they built a life. My mom became a public school teacher. My dad, an engineer. I was born and raised in this country. I was born and raised in this state. I went to our public schools, which were the best public schools in the country. I could go to our community colleges and the University of California system for undergrad and med school and get a great education. I paid $393 a quarter to go to med school. Can you believe that? Work part time, get student loans, and graduate with less than $10,000 of debt. Now, the reason why I say that is I didn't get here by myself. I got here because this country believed in my parents and gave them, them a chance. I got here because this state and this country made an investment in me. They invested in the next generation. They invested in all of you. And that is what this election is about. That is how we start moving forward, by investing in the next generation. But we can't forget the promises that we've made to our parents and grandparents because they built this path for us. And that is the promise to make sure they have the security they need in retirement by protecting Social Security. That is making sure we have the promise of Medicare so they have the health care that they need when they retire. Now, I can't say this better than one of our greatest presidents. He probably put it best and most succinctly. America, at its core, is an idea. The idea that no matter where you come from or who you are, if you work hard and play by the rules, you'll have the freedom and opportunity to pursue your own dream and leave your kids a country where they can chase theirs. Anyone want to guess who that president was? It was our 42nd president, William Jefferson Clinton, one of our greatest presidents. Let's think about the legacy of President Clinton. In his administration, he created more American jobs than any other president in history. Over 22 million jobs. Compare that with the Republican Congress that can't pass one job bill that is threatening to take us right back into a recession. <laughs> president Clinton not only balanced our budget, he left us with a budget surplus. Now compare that with the Republican Congress that is leaving our kids drowning in a mountain of debt. This, this is a Congress that's taken us into two wars that we didn't pay for. This is a Congress that has given billions of dollars away to Wall Street and health insurance companies. And this is a Congress that wants to raise taxes on middle class families when they're struggling in order to give tax cuts to millionaires and billionaires. It is exactly the wrong direction that we need to go. We need new leadership. Now, I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you who I was running against. My opponent's Dan Lundgren. And he's been responsible for all of that. Some of you guys weren't born in 1978, but Dan Lundgren first went to Congress in 1978. Dan, L <laughs> Dan Lundgren was the Tea Party before the Tea Party existed. <laughs> Let me just tell you a little bit about him. Dan Lundgren has voted repeatedly to take away a woman's right to choose. <laughs> and he even wants to limit a woman's access to birth control? <laughs> Wrong. Dan Lundgren has voted to increase interest rates on your student loans, making it harder for you to go to college. And Dan, Dan Lundgren has voted repeatedly to take Social Security and Medicare away from our parents and grandparents. He is the wrong prescription for this country. 
We can't let them take us backwards. We need to move forward. We need leadership that restores the American dream that Jose benefited from, that I benefited from. We need leadership that is fighting to restore the forgotten middle class, because we all know that America is at its best when our middle class is its strongest. And we need leadership that is willing to fight for our individual liberties and our individual freedoms. And that includes a woman's right to choose And this is personal. I'm running for Congress because I want my daughter to grow up in a country where she's in charge of her body and she's in charge of her own health care decisions. You're welcome. Now, this election is a very important election. You've never heard anything say it's the most important election of our lifetimes, but it is because it is clearly a path forward. How do we move forward? How do we protect those individual liberties and those rights? How do we rebuild and restore middle class in America? How do we get America working again and start building jobs here in this country? So on November 6, we have to get the president reelected. On November 6, we have to hold on to the Senate. And on November 6, we've got to reelect Congressman John Garamendi and Congressman Jerry McNerney. And we've got to elect future Congressman Jose Hernandez and Ami Barra. Now, I have the pleasure of introducing a man that has served our country in Congress since 2007. Congressman Jerry McNerney has been an independent voice in Congress. I look forward to serving with him and fighting for the needs of the residents that live here in the Central Valley. No one in Congress has done a better job in fighting for veterans than Jerry McNerney. And I look forward to serving with him on these issues so that we can serve the men and women of our military with the same respect and devotion that they've served us. It is Absolutely. It is my pleasure to introduce Congressman Jerry McNerney.